Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to this new video. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out on a daily basis. At this point, we've got success coaches within our company who are putting out content on a regular basis and they're focusing on different sports all right so if you're in aquatic sports if you're in soccer if you're in basketball if you're in sports performance then make sure you subscribe because we have success coaches that are putting out content every single day to help you to grow and scale your business your coaching and training business so today i want to talk about how to transition from cash to monthly subscriptions now, this is something that our company currently specialize in. We are, I'd pretty much say experts at this, and we're experts at coaching and teaching uh, business owners how to do this. All right, so I want to share with you three simple things to, to take into account when you want to transition from that cash in hand model to a monthly subscription, All right? So... To, to begin with, what do I mean by cash in hand? So cash in hand is when a trainer is working with a client and that client doesn't have an, an agreement in place. They don't have a, a set day, set time every single week. They're, they're training. All they do is they turn up to a session and they're paying that coach for the hour, for the hour and a half, for the two hours. And it's, it's, it's a system that is more sporadic, okay? So that model in the long term doesn't work for a number of reasons. And that's something I can share with you in in, up, in an upcoming um, episode. But if you want to know more, then we've got 700 plus videos that we've already recorded that are on our YouTube channel that talks about why cash in hand just doesn't work long term. Right. So what we want to do is we want to set up a subscription where clients are becoming more committed. They're seeing you on a regular basis and you as the trainer are getting paid month to month. OK, so I want to break down these three things. So the first one is if you can see on my screen, I've got three, six, nine and 12 month commitments. So when you transition from cash in hand or a cash model to a subscription, the first thing you need to do is you need to get parents and clients on a monthly com uh, commitment. Now, in our company, when we work with a business owner, normally what happens is coaches start with a three-month commitment to begin with. And as they start to build confidence, then they move into a six or nine-month commitment until you know, they get really confident and then they start selling 12 month commitments, right? So to give you a breakdown of what this looks like, if you're closing a client onto a three month commitment, then how that looks like it's your, your client is seeing you once a week, right? On a set day, set time. So this could be a Monday evening from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. every single Monday in that month. Right. So they might be seeing you four times per month. They might be seeing you five times per month. And ultimately, what they're doing is they're committed to seeing you for three months consistently. OK, so there's no they come one week and then they skip two weeks and then they see you on the third week or the fourth week. This is a consistent schedule that they're seeing you every single week for a set time. OK, so if if your sessions are an hour long and they're seeing you from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., that's our training session every Monday. Uh, at that set location, set time. OK, so in order to transition from a cash in hand, we need to get parents onto a commitment. A monthly commitment so that they are seeing you regularly which means that their, their child is going to get great results and there's more commitment on their behalf, right? Because when they are, when they're seeing you on a regular basis, okay, and they have a commitment in place, 
then they're more likely to show up to that session or to those training sessions. Right, so as I mentioned at the beginning, a lot of coaches, what they tend to do is when, when they start working with us, they'll start off with um, a three-month commitment. And then as they start to build more confidence, they might start selling a six-month commitment and then nine-month. And then hopefully we want to push coaches to, to go into a yearly commitment where parents are committing for the entire year to, to training with you. Okay. And just think to yourself, how, how better your client will get if they're seeing you on a week to week basis. Right. So the second point is player and parent agreement contract in place. Okay. So when you transition from a cash in hand model to a monthly subscription, there has to be a waiver or a contract in place that the parent or the client signs that they agree to your terms and conditions. Now, most coaches, when they when they do cash in hand or cash the cash model, which we don't encourage uh, trainers to do, then what tends to happen is most of them don't have any agreement in place with their clients. So that parent ultimately decides when they show up to your session. They decide when they pay you in a if and when they pay you and you know pretty much it's not a steady and regular a uh, schedule for the trainer or business owner but when you get parents on a, an agreement so for example if you're selling a three month agreement then what parents have to do they have to sign a contract with you that they agree to stay in your program for three months and that training will be once every week at this set day, set time, that they agree to show up on time, they agree to give 100%, they agree to, to pay you every single month, okay? So there has to be an agreement in place for that three, six, 12, nine month uh, commitment to work, All right? What we, what we, encourage coaches to do is if you're getting clients on those type of contracts then sorry on those type of agreements then there has to be a contract in place okay if you haven't got parents on a contract then ultimately what will happen is they might train with you the first month and then by the second month something might come up and they turn around and say right leo we can't train with you uh, this month we're going somewhere else or we have to stop and what happens is you know if there's no agreement in place, then you're not going to get paid. Okay. So the, the whole point of an agreement or a contract is to make parents think, right, if I'm going to do this, I need to commit to this. Okay. And ultimately what we, what we look to do is we look to get coaches to kind of scare certain clients away. And that's not because we don't want coaches to get clients but we want coaches to work with committed clients so that they are getting great results with their business. They're working with players that ultimately are a good fit to work with. And they're getting, you know, they're working with, with clients that will make their business better, stronger, and they will refer other like-minded clients to them. Okay. So when you transition to a subscription model, there has to be an agreement in place so that parents sign, they agree to your terms and conditions, and ultimately they're going to agree to showing up and training with you, right? Now, the third uh, third point I've got here, there has to be an online payment platform in place. Okay, So a company that we use within our company um, to, to do all our payments a company that I use as well is Samcart, right? Samcart is fantastic. It can do all your online payments for you. You can set up um, monthly subscriptions. You can set up camps and clinic and um, landing pages, right? You can do a, a lot with Samcart. And what that does is once parents agree to your terms and conditions and they agree to stay in your program for three months then we set them up on an online system such as samcar where 
And Sam Carr is billing them every single month. And what, what happens is that when you have an online platform, right, you aren't chasing parents for payments. They, the Sam Carr does all of that for you. It bills the parent and then Sam Carr pays you every single month. So all you have to do as the trainer is you focus on training the client, getting great results and just adding more value. So if you want to set up a monthly subscription, you have to have an online platform that is doing all your billing for you. Okay. Some coaches have tried it where they're getting parents to pay cash in hand monthly, but ultimately that doesn't happen, right? Because again, parents are in control and also parents, there might be a month where they don't show up. And if they don't show up, you don't get paid. Okay. So when it's all done online, you know, on the, on the client side, there's no excuses not to pay you, right? Because all the client has to do is they, they type in their, their bank details and everything else is done for them, okay? So if you need more help on this, then there's two ways to get in contact with me. The first one is you can set up a free 15 to 20 minute call with me via Zoom. If you want to do that, visit the Calendly in the description of this video. Click on the link and you can set up a free 15, 20 minute call to talk with me about your business. Or the second way, if you just if you have questions for me, then you can do you can send me your questions to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. I respond to every single coach who reaches out. So make sure you send me an email and I'll respond within 24 hours of receiving the email. Okay. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the content that we put out. Okay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.